Hello, Pisces. What's good with you? It's time for your bonus reading for the month of May 2021, okay? Bonus time, bonus time. For those of you new to my channel, when I do bonus readings, the intention that I put into it is to pick up on details that I missed in the main monthly reading, okay? That's the intention I put into it. Um, if you would like to find information on how to schedule a personal reading with me, please look in the description box of this video. And that is along with the Amazon links where you can buy every tarot deck featured here in this video. All that stuff's in the description, okay? So the very first thing that I want to look at here is the person you're dealing with and how they feel about you. How they feel about you, how they feel about this situation, how they view you, and uh, what their true intentions are, okay? How does this person feel about Pisces? Universe, Source, Spirit. Ooh, there it is. That happened quick. It could be a Taurus for some of you. Hmm. I think this person has a fear of commitment. Okay, I don't really think this is something they want to commit to. They don't even... And that's also faith, too. I don't really think they have a whole lot of faith in uh, the situation or faith that it would ever work out and be uh, committed and stable. Last shuffle. Ooh, 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 ooh. There we go. Ace of Pentacles, Magician, Ten of Cups, Death Card. Okay. So, yeah, they, they have their guard up. They're very heavily guarded. Could be an Aries for some of you. Also have Cancer or Scorpio. Aries, Cancer, and Scorpio. And Taurus. Okay. Could be anybody. You guys know this. Um, but I, I really kind of feel like this person... Uh, it's very insecure. They have a lot of insecurities. Uh, very, very low self-confidence, low self-esteem. And um, as badly as they want this, as badly as they want this, they don't have any faith that it would ever, ever be successful between the two of you. Okay? So it looks like uh, they're pretty much allowing this to come to an end, whether they want it to or not. You know? I don't think they want it to. They don't want this to end, but they don't have any faith in success between the two of you. They don't have faith that it would ever be successful. Um, a lot of you are dealing with somebody who has probably either been trying to or been really wanting to find somebody who will take you off their mind, and they've not been very successful with that. They want to detach from this, too. They don't want to have feelings for you. They don't want to be in love with you. They don't want to miss you. They want to be very, very, very detached. But with this Ten of Cups energy right here, yeah, they're having a very difficult time with that. Because they did want this very, very badly. They did want this very, very badly. But they're, they're making a logical head-over-heart decision. Because they don't believe that, uh, that it would ever work. They don't believe it would work. That's the only thing I can say. I'm trying to figure out something else to say, but I really, that's really all that spread says there. They don't, they don't believe that it would ever work. They have no faith in the situation. Okay? Let's see what actions this person is taking. There goes the ear. What actions is this person taking? Universe, source, spirit. What actions is this person taking towards Pisces? Six of Cups. It's not very action-oriented, but they do miss you. They do miss you. Okay? Three shuffles. Some of you could have kids with this person. Two of wands. <laughs> See, very not action-oriented. Okay? So they really, they're thinking about communicating with you. They're thinking about reaching out. They're really thinking about reaching out, but right now it just looks to me like they're remaining obsessed with you. Okay? This person looks, some of you could be dealing with somebody who's into drugs and alcohol. It could be a Capricorn for some of you, but I really think this person is just going to remain very, very obsessively. This, this person is very broken. Let's just put it that way. This person is very, very, very broken. Very spiritually, emotionally, and psychologically broken. Okay? And as badly as they want to reach out, I think they're making a head-over-heart decision not to. Okay? 
could be a Libra for some of you. But I really see them at least taking the rest of the month of May to really contemplate, magician reversed, really, really contemplate what the right decision would be. This goes here, okay. Um, because they feel like basically if they do attempt a reconciliation, it's not going to do anything but repeat the cycle and pop off in conflict again. See what I'm saying? So they're still very heartbroken over this. They're, this person's just very broken in general. Okay, and again, they don't want to love you. They don't want to. They're trying to detach from this. Trying to detach from this, okay? All right, well, let's see if we can find an outcome. Outcome, what is the most likely outcome? And I'm extending the outcome out for the rest of the year, okay? Rest of 2021, what is the outcome for Pisces and this person? Will there ever be reconciliation? Will anybody ever come forward? Okay, Nine of Cups reversed, emotional codependence. And I'm not going to go off on that lecture. I'm not. I will condense this as, as pretty much the most common energy that comes through my line of work, which in simple layman's terms is I have an empty void in my heart and I need a lover to fill that void. Okay, which is the way we have been programmed and conditioned to look at love for decades through music, movies, TV, and media. Okay, how many of you have come to me for a personal reading and I've gone off on this lecture? Not just a lecture, but I break down the process of attracting love from A to Z. Okay, I don't have time for that in this right here, in this video, but um, essentially, yeah, I, I really see that one, the other, or both of you is still remaining very emotionally codependent. I see loneliness. I don't really see wish fulfillment. Let's put it that way. I don't see wish fulfillment with this situation here. Mm, the magician. Okay. Okay. I do see communication happening here. I do see communication happening. Yep. Oh, man, but I see it popping off into conflict more than likely here. Okay. Um, it's hard to say who it is that's actually reaching out. But I do see community. It could be a Virgo that you're dealing with. They have Virgo and Cancer here. Okay. But I do see more than likely somebody is coming forward and communicating. Could be a Pisces, another Pisces for you. Somebody is coming forward and communicating here. Uh, but I don't really see it making any headway. It looks to me like for a lot of you. You're going to finally get the chance to see this person um, from a perspective of, oh, wow. You know, like, come together with a person, you go this way, they go this way, and your memory is still looking back on this from the goggles you were wearing while you were in the situation. You grow, you evolve, you take those goggles off, you put new ones on, but in your memory, you're still seeing this person through the old lens, you know? And then you get a chance to see him again through your new lens. And it's like, oh, wow. Why was I ever tripping over you? You know what I mean? I can't even believe that I was ever even tripping over you. You know what I mean? Like, like wow, there's a whole new light shined on this person. Because, again, I don't, whoever it is that attempts to reconcile, okay, whoever it is that reaches out is bringing the exact same situation into an attempted reconciliation, the exact same energy into the situation that was used to cause the problem. How many times have we done that? Oh, I've done it a million times. We've all done it. I'm going to attempt a reconciliation, but I'm going to bring the old energy back to a new situation. What do you think is going to happen? Same thing, man. Same exact thing is going to happen. It's going to repeat the cycle, and it's going to pop off into conflict yet again. It's not going to make any forward movement here, okay? But I really think that a lot of you, King of Pentacles, that is, you, you, you need to see them in a new light, okay? You need to see them from that new lens. Maybe, maybe this is very necessary here because that's what's really going to make that Ace of Swords moment happen, that light bulb pop on, like, oh, you know, so that you're actually able to release it in your heart. Because I, I say this all the time. You know, we, we all do this, you know, you come together with a person, you separate, and you go off and make it look like you've moved on, you know. You, 
I don't care if you hop on a plane and fly to the other side of the country, get in a new relationship, start a new job, buy a new home. It looks like you've moved on, but that's not what universe responds to. The universe doesn't respond to what your mouth says. It doesn't respond to what it looks like you're doing. The universe responds to what's really happening in your heart and mind. You can, you can fool everybody around you into thinking whatever you want them to think. That's not what universe responds to. That's not what will produce uh, the results in your life. The results in your life are telling the truth about what's really happening in your heart and mind. Okay? So this right here may be exactly what it is that you need to be able to actually let go in your heart. Oh, wow. Okay. Somehow now I accept it. Now I want to let go. Poof. And this person's energy will leave you. Okay. 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 I see you, Pisces. Now it is time for the meat and the taters of the reading. Advice is for Pisces. Advice, advice. I had to say it for my OG followers, man. I had to. Advice for Pisces. It's advice time, advice time. Do, 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 do. Okay, the Hierophant in the reverse. All right, don't be so quick to try to commit to this, okay? It may be time for you to take a second look at commitment and ask yourself, what is it that I'm really committing to? What is it that I really want? Is it a relationship that I want? Or is it a feeling that I want? It's a feeling that I want, isn't it? So what makes me think that a relationship is going to create this feeling? Where did I get that idea? Okay? And even worse than that, how come I keep being proven that that's not true, but I keep trying it over and over and over again. I keep trying to get a relationship to create this feeling for me, and it never happens, ever, ever, never, ever. It keeps failing over and over and over, but I keep trying. I keep trying to find a relationship that will bring this feeling to me, and it never works. So what is it that I'm committing to? Just a thought. Just a thought. I know at least one person needed to hear that. Okay. Take your hands off the wheel and allow universe to show you what it can do for you. Okay. Allow universe to show you what it can do for you. Okay. There's two different types of manifestations. We have A type and B type. Okay. A type manifestations are those things that most of us will manifest multiple times throughout our life. Okay. A new car a new house, a new job. That's an A-type manifestation. And the thing about A-type manifestations is you can pretty much write down the steps that it would take in order to make this manifest. You can write it down, you can logically plan for it, prepare for it, and figure it out logically. B-type manifestations are those big things that you've never had. You know, and more than likely, Nobody around you has ever had anything like this either. That perfect, successful relationship, you know? That multi-million dollar business, whatever it is, something big that is unlike anything I've ever experienced before. See, the problem is we try to use the strategies for A-type manifestations, and we try to use those strategies to bring about B-type manifestations, and it doesn't work, okay? You cannot logically plan every step from A to Z in order to bring about a B-type manifestation because logically planning, okay, the faculties you're using to logically plan for something is information that you have used or picked up on in the past. There's nothing that you have learned in the past that is sufficient enough to bring you something you have never had before or you would have had it a long time ago. Okay, the only way to manifest something that you have never had before is to allow the universe to bring it to you. Okay, the only way to allow the universe to bring it to you is to release your mind from the subject matter, take action in the direction in which you think you want to go, set the intention in tandem with releasing your mind from any expectations, how, who, when, where, what, why, 
move forward and allow the universe to fill in those details. It takes thought control and mind mastery to be able to do that, okay? Uh, but to be able to release your hands from the wheel and let the universe steer the vehicle around without trying to force it and fight it and control it, that's very, very important, okay? Um, when it comes to this person here, though, again, for some of you, it's going to be important for you to have this second conversation. I think a conversation needs to be had. Don't let them, don't let them come, come back playing the same games they played in the past, okay? Call them out. If they come back playing games, call them out on that, okay? But it is best for you more than likely. Uh, I, I think this conversation needs to be had between the two of you so that you can see them in a new light. You need to see them in a new light, you need to look at them from a new lens, you know what I mean? And walk away. Doses. Doses, doses, doses. Okay, focus on new things. I think a lot of you need to focus on your money and your finance. Okay, focus on new business opportunities. Maybe starting a new business, working towards a new promotion at work. Okay. That's where I think a lot of you need to be focusing your energies, work and finance right now. Okay, while you emotionally heal. Leave the doorway open and allow something new to come in. Don't go out and pursue something new. See what I'm saying? But anyway, I feel like that was your message, Pisces. I am going to go ahead and end this reading here. Thank you all so much for tuning in, playing along, and showing love, support, and positive feedback here on my channel every day. I greatly appreciate it. It makes my job worthwhile here on YouTube. Don't forget to look in the description box of the video if you would like information on how to schedule a personal reading. And I'm out of here now, y'all. Thanks again for tuning in. I will see you sometime between right now and the rest of all eternity. Y'all stay blessed.